So, in the past week, I have put up three videos on my YouTube channel, and two of them have been demonetized. Why? The answer might make you think. So, uh, I put up a video, I just released a video today, and it's entitled, uh, Do You Know the Via Negativa? Okay, now this video was demonetized, as was a video I put up, I guess, a couple days ago called, Programs That Suck Less. Suck Less. So let me explain why the uh, the Via Negativa video was demonetized. So if you don't know, when you upload a video to YouTube, um, there's an uploading process and then it is processing for a time. And processing usually means converting it to different sizes, dimensions for people, and also checking to see if there's copyrighted content. That was not why my videos were demonetized or anything like that. They were demonetized because of uh, stuff either in the title or the tags. Now, in the Via Negativa video, I know exactly why. So the video, a totally innocuous content. There's nothing, nothing objectionable in it. Um, it was more or less me just talking about, you know, it was more or less like a life advice or something like that. I mean, it was just like uh, uh, minimize stuff in your life kind of stuff. And I talked about the concept of Via Negativa uh, and specifically the guy Nassim Taleb who popularized the term recently. Now, the reason this video was demonetized and I know this because I, I was there when it happened, was that originally I released the video, I put a bunch of tags in it, you know, for example, I included things related to the video, including Nassim Taleb's name and stuff like that. And after the video released, I, I wanted to add a couple tags in because I realized that Taleb recently, uh, he's been in a, a public spat, I guess, with Stefan Molyneux. So I figured oh, I might as well put some tags relevant to that um, just to, I don't know, get some extra views or relate it to videos that are related to that. So I added in two tags, and those are IQ, which is what the debate was about, Molyneux and Taleb have been talking about IQ, and Molyneux, that's it. So I added those two tags, and immediately once I saved those tags, the video was demonetized. So that should tell you something already. Um, additionally, if, you know, once that happened, I was like, oh, geez, not again. Um, this happens every once in a while when you put really politically sensitive terms. Uh, YouTube will immediately demonetize your video, whether in the, they're in the title or just in the tags or anything else. Um, uh, so I immediately took these out. And of course, that's, that doesn't make a difference. Or at least in this case, it didn't make a difference. So the video is still demonetized. And um, basically what happens if that happens is you can say, I want this manually reviewed. And, uh, you know, if your video gets more than a thousand views in a week or whatever, they will send some, some Google apparatchik to watch your video and say if it's okay or not. So that means I will have to wait probably 24 hours for their, for this video to be monetized at all. Now, if you don't know anything about YouTube, that effectively means I'm not going to get any revenue from this video. Okay. Uh, because really all the views you get on a video you get within the first couple days and you know I mean you get you get some stuff afterwards, but really it all comes in the first couple days So if you can demonetize a video for the first couple of hours that it's out You're really gonna be depriving the person who made the video of basically all the ad revenue now. Why do I mention all this? Okay? Um, let's uh, well I say there are two videos I did that were demonetized the other one Again, was programs that suck less, suckless. It's on suckless programs. Now, this video was demonetized for a similar reason. That is, it included the term suck, okay? And potentially that could be sexual content or something like that. So originally when I, I gave the video its title and its tags, um, you know, uh, I, I forget exactly how I worded it. I mean, it wasn't anything sexual, but it's something that a computer, you know, some kind of algorithm might interpret as being a sexual video. So it was demonetized. But, like with the Via Negativa video, I immediately changed the stuff, I, I changed it to make it less, I mean, I didn't partic I just really renamed it. I added some extra stuff into the, to the title, and that immediately monetized it. Now that should make you think, because there, it seems to me, and granted, despite the fact that I put up YouTube videos, uh, people who put up YouTube videos have no clue, you know, we really just have to guess about what, what we're supposed, supposed to be able to post or not post, frankly. Um, so, really, that, what that makes me think is that Google has two tracks for censorship. Um, if you put up s potentially sexual content or sexual words or something like that, that might get you demonetized. Um, but you d I don't need to get manually approved for that video to, to get monetization. Really all that happened was I changed the tags and I said it's acceptable for 
uh, viewership, and it was it re it you know immediately had ads on it. Okay, um, where in the other case uh, where I put a potentially political term, or well, it could have either been the IQ tag or it could have been uh, the Molyneux tag, either one, uh, demonetize my video immediately. And when I change those or remove those. Uh, it doesn't monetize my video. Now that's very interesting because that makes me think that there are true two tracks of censorship. One more, one that YouTube obviously cares less about, and that is potential sexual content, and one that YouTube cares more about. Now I have to get manually approved, and that is uh, potentially, uh, you know, really just political, right-wing political content. Frankly, now this has happened to me before. I should say. Um, a couple months ago, I put out a video, I think it was on, like, internet censorship or something like that. I actually, I put up two in around the same period. I remember specifically, one of them, I mentioned Alex Jones in. And the one after, I mentioned Andrew Anglin in. And in both cases, I decided, okay, well, I'll put, uh, I'll put their names in the tags. And, uh, both videos were, uh, marked for, you know, demonetized, okay? Or, I think, especially... I'm trying to remember exactly, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I put like Anglin in the tag of uh, of one of the, as a tag of one of the videos, and it was immediately demonetized. So that means, uh, oh, and mind you, when you actually upload a video, if you're on the, like the upload screen, it doesn't tell you if your video has been, you know, declared demonetized or demonetized or whatever. You really have to go looking for it in another menu. So that means. You know, even if I, I put up some questionable, con you know, tags or something, I can't even revise it. But anyway, this makes me think because, um, you know, the people often talk about people getting deplatformed and depersoned from these uh, these uh, kind of things. And it's not like I put up, I don't really put up that much, uh, I, nowadays I don't put up any kind of political content on my uh, YouTube channel. It's all mostly tutorials and boomer ranting and woods and stuff like that. Um, but uh, every time that I get... In, even impinging on something potentially political, and I put it in the tag, and it, granted, it's a gun that only shoots one direction. It's only when I put someone who's either right-wing or, uh, I mean, really just a, uh, possibly a right-wing person, if you even mention their name in the video, you will get demonetized. I mean, it's just insane to me. Uh, it doesn't happen in the, you know, if I put, I've had lots of videos on Noam Chomsky or something. Obviously, you, the people who run YouTube are not going to demonetize Noam Chomsky or something like that. Um, so this is extremely annoying to me. Um, it's extremely, I, I don't think anyone pretends YouTube has, uh, you know, some deep, uh, you know, is, I, YouTube isn't going to even pretend that it's objective in political things. I understand that, you know, um, YouTube is going to censor the people they don't like. That's what they do. That's what all of these companies do. Um, but it's just getting to the point where it's so annoying that I, I do videos and, you know, put in relevant tags and the videos are totally innocuous in content. And they, I will still, they will still all get demonetized. And it really is a way of affecting the kind of... Say, I mean, more than just them deplatforming people... This is a way where even if I wanted to talk about, let's say I wanted to put up a video about how much I don't like Andrew Anglin, um, you know, bald man bad, uh, you know, his Daily Storm is a terrible evil site, evil Nazis. Even if I wanted to put up a video like that, it would still get demonetized because of all this stuff, uh, because it would just be flagged for being a bad video. Um, so it's worse than just deplatforming people. It's that you can't even acknowledge or talk about something in passing without YouTube's explicit permission. You have to get these videos manually approved by some YouTube apparatchik in order for people to see them. Anyway, that's what, this is all I want to talk about. I'm just, I hope this is communicating to you that I'm very frustrated. I am putting up videos that aren't even political, uh, but they're still getting demonetized. And, um, you know, maybe someday soon I will go out of YouTube in a blaze of glory, but, um, you know, well, that, I'll just say that's becoming more and more of a, a desirable thing to do at this point because I'm getting so frustrated with uh, YouTube. So pretty soon I'm going to start putting up whatever content I want just because there's nothing I can do, you know, here. It's a terrible, terrible place. So anyway, that's all I want to say. Well, actually, that's all I want to say, but I noticed I'm at 9.30. So I'm going to wait 30 more seconds so I can get ad, extra ad revenue to ca uh, to uh, compensate me for all my videos getting demonetized. So enjoy the next 20 seconds, but that's all. Subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, whatever, or, or just quit YouTube. Okay, it's almost at 10.
All right, guys, see you next time.